What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we are ready to continue on again. So, this time we are... Actually, hang on a second. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're good here. Second there, I thought I was going to be missing some loot, but I am not. Uh, so, we already know we have a friendly gargoyle that's going to be flying on in to play with us. Um, wasn't there a piece of loot, like, over there? No, I grabbed that already, I think. Alright, gargoyle man. Gargoyle man, where are you? Why is he not coming? There he is. Actually, you know what? Let me just go over here and fight you. There's really no reason to fight you <clears throat> while there's a bunch of pyromancies being thrown at me and shit. Would you like to come down here in this nice little kind of open arena type thing? Oh, yes you would. Apparently in a big way. Unfortunately, you can't really fly here, so, uh, yeah. Unfair advantage? I'd say so. And the question is, do I jump down to there? Let me see if there's loot on that little platform down below. I think there is. Oh, there definitely is. I'm guessing that circles around. Let's go anyway. Because I love my goodies. Only slay your great bow. Ouch. Fucking rude, bro. Is that necessary? And. Rusted coins. I see you guys have lots of pyromancy back there. I'm gonna hope that means that the master pyromancer I've been seeking is somewhere in this profane capital. Now, y'all are gonna tell me where that pyromancer is at, and we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. Oh, I, I, I see you chose the hard way. Unfortunately, you don't rip health away from me like the other bitches do, so you are way less annoying. You know, it's a bad idea to sit in prayer when people are attacking. Fucking car jewel. It's a boss. Is this like a treasure room? Oh no, these are bodies. <laughs> it's a treasure room and bodies. What a beautiful combination. What is... Is that... Is that Yorm? Ouch. Oh shit! No, it's a gargoyle. Fuck off, dude. Come on. Yeah. 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 There's no way you can fit through this hole. Flame on. Where'd that gargoyle go? I gotta I gotta separate these dicks. Listen, you can either fly up, or they can come up. Either way, somebody needs to... Let's play the game called How Many Plunging Attacks Does It Take to Kill a Gargoyle? Three. Three plunging attacks to kill a gargoyle. Handmaid's Dagger. Let's take a look. Dagger used by the handmaidens of the profane capital. Each successful attack replenishes a slight amount of FP. It is said that these women took pleasure in wounding others. Ooh. Uh, blind spot. Use against shielded foes to break through their guard by attacking from the side. There's some really interesting FP skills that have been added in. 
Like, just uh, the amount of guard break options available now is, is kind of staggering. Like, a lot of the weapons we've looked at have had something like that. So I'm guessing that's where Yorm's probably at. Um, let's look around here for a bit. And this is a lot of pyromancy ladies. I wonder if I can just, like, sneak up and just slowly backstab them all one at a time. Alright, well, <clears throat> let's, come on, come over, let's, let's take this over here, come on. Those wonderful ladies are over there just praying, and you're just being an asshole. No way! I died to the gargoyle. What the fuck? Man, I was crapping all over them, too. Disappointing death. And climbing, going down this thing gives me kind of like an Indiana Jones feel. Like, cause I'm dodging fireballs, too. You know, it's like... It's like, yeah! 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 Except instead of killing raiders, I'm killing, um... These things. Hey, come here. Oh shit, they both want to tango. All right, hand the main stagger. Let's see who can fit through the big hole first. Who's it gonna be? It's plenty big. You boys can definitely pass through. Maybe not. Maybe they're... Oh my god, are you guys stuck? How embarrassing. That is sad. Man, I feel like I'm like at the zoo and like poking something through the cage right now. I mean, I'm gonna keep doing this, but <laughs> it, I feel slightly bad about doing it. At least until one of them is dead. Yummy. came all the way for me? That is so sweet of you. Guess who's back? Come on, buddy. Come and get it. So apparently those wings like just shut down damage. Okay. You stop, stop, stop. Stop being rude. Oh my god, please go fuck off for like one second here.
chests. Well, I know one of them's a fucking mimic. Not a mimic. Ember. Okay, it's good. It's good. I'd really prefer to have flame weapon right now. to gold coin. Two mimics in a row. Ouch. Dude, that flying kick! Holy shit, that does so much damage. You're not a fucking ninja. You're a possessed treasure chest thing. Great shield of glory. Nice, nice. Reduces stamina regeneration. That's kind of shitty. Um, Alright. So I think we're ready to take on whatever is behind this, uh, the fog gate. Um, I'm in really bad shape right now, though. I mean, I have two Estuses, one Ash Estus. Um, no, fuck it. Chances are I'll probably die. Very first attempt. It's not surprising for me to get killed. So let's go in. We'll just use this as an opportunity to see what we're up against. And we are straight up against Yorm the Giant. You're coming back with me, brah. Listen, you had a chance to come to your throne. Storm Ruler, that looks badass. Oh, man. I tickle you. Hang on. Alright. What is this? The Burkamel, the giant slayer for the. Uh. <coughs> uh. Uh, giant Slayer, or the, the, the Giant Slayer with the residual strength of Storm. Fuck. I'm trying to read this. Go away. Let me read the description, asshole. Gun the Giant once helped two of these, but gave one to humans who doubted him and left the other to a dear friend before facing his face. Lord of Cinder. Assume stands to imbue Sword with Storm, most effective when facing Giants. Okay, we're ready, baby. Let's go. This is not any of more effective. You're supposed to be a giant killing thing. What the fuck? What the fuck? The sword's supposed to be special or something. That did, like, no damage. What the hell, Yorm? I can't even fucking touch his health pool. Like, I figured for sure it was like the, um... I don't remember, it's been so long, but the, the Demon Souls boss where you had to... You had to put on the sword and then you were, like, chucking out giant Moonlight Greatsword beams at his face.
great sword with a broken blade, also known as the Giant Slayer, for the residual strength of Storm that brings giants to their knees. Well, he was sure as fuck was not going to his knees. Yoram the Giant once held two, but gave one to the humans who doubted him, and left the other one to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. Skill, Storm King. Assume stance to imbue sword with Storm, most effective when facing giants. I feel like it wasn't effective at all. And I can't enchant it either. Let me test this thing, so... Huh. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's... I don't even think it's more effective than my, my falchion. Like, maybe if you were, like, to take this thing and then fucking upgrade it to plus six and come back, it would hit hard, but... It doesn't seem to be that special to me. I mean, with that being said, dodging Yorm was fairly easy, I felt, you know? We were able to... I mean, well, I was able to fucking run around long enough that I read the description on the sword in the boss fight, so... Ow, dicks. What happened to my epic Indiana Jones dodges? I mean, we'll try it again. Um, this time in particular, though, I'm going to be looking at the damage this sword puts out compared to that of the falchion. I think it might be something, because, you know, if we read... And I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it. But the whole brings giants to their knees thing makes me think, maybe I keep attacking with this and it causes him to, like, fall down, and then I can get an actual damage to him. Or I'll just die. That, that works, too. Alright. So, after a uh, little bit of time playing around with this sword, and a few more attempts against Yorn, I finally figured it out. Um, I'll probably just keep the first attempt in. The second attempt was literally like six minutes of me just butt-poking him down with the falchion. And I got him down to like 25%, but it's, it's like trying to fight Vendrick with zero giant souls. Um, so anyway, the sword... What I was messing up before is, you know, when you do this, you don't do that in strike. You have to hold L2 on it, and when you do, the sword will obtain a buff state where once it hits that state, holding L2 and pressing either R1 or R2 does this, like, giant um, storm blade type thing, and that does massive damage. I'm talking, like, so much damage that I basically, like, let him kill me because I didn't want the fight to end with how much damage I was doing. So now the blade's buffed. Now it's in giant killer mode, we'll call it. Again, it's, it's watch. Just watch watch how much damage this does. My soul's back. Look at that shit! How retarded is that? Lord of Cinder, my ass, bitch! Prepare thyself. Ho! Fucking wrecked. I mean, I had a feeling there was a gimmick with the sword when I found it. Now we know I was right.
awaits its one last reward. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Uh, what? Please save his soul. Where am I going? Where are you teleporting me to? Oh, you teleported me out of there. I wanted to explore that. Oh, well, either way, um, some shit's gonna go down. I wonder, like, I, re I really want to test that against regular enemies and see what kind of damage it'll do. Um, but either way, we're gonna wrap things up here. Yorm obviously dookied all over with that sword. So thanks for coming on by, and we will catch you guys next time with more Dark Souls 3.